Hi, I'm Deepak Kitecha. I'm a professor of cardiology at the University of Birmingham in the UK. So STEER AF is the European Society of Cardiology's first randomised control trial. So the ESC has done lots of observational work before, but this is our first attempt at doing uh, a proper randomised trial. Uh, and the reason for doing it in that way was because we wanted really objective evidence about whether ESC guidelines were being used in the real world and how to improve them. Um, so that's the need really for doing a randomised trial. Obviously randomised trials are very complex setup. Uh, you know, complex to run and costly, but in order to get the information that we need, we had to do it in a way that was robust. Yeah, so STEER AF um, is really about whether if we give focused education to healthcare professionals, can we improve the patient level care that's received? So those two different aspects really. Um, and so what we designed is an intervention using all of the knowledge from the European Society of Cardiology the European Heart Rhythm Association and the ESC Council on Stroke, all their past educational knowledge, can we design a really focused educational programme that's short, that, that any learner, so that might be a doctor, a nurse, a pharmacist, anyone treating patients with AF, could use to improve the care that gets given to that patient. And in, in particular, we were interested in the class one and three recommendations from the 2016 and 2020 guidelines. So those are the must-dos and the must-do-nots. So the intervention was on average nine hours of online work by each, each learner and they were supported in their own country, by, in their own language, by um, an expert trainer um, through a programme of work. There were online sessions on uh, rhythm control, on stroke prevention as well as integrating um, AF care. Uh, and then they went through a programme of commitment to change. So what would they change in their local institution to reinforce um, the nature of the education? Um, and so, um, and that was a really important part of, of that, but, but the whole intervention itself was relatively short, 16 weeks um, and only nine hours really time on average per, inter, per learner online. Sure, so STEER AF is a cluster randomised trial, so it differs from the usual trials you may see because of course if you're giving education it's very hard to avoid contamination of that effect to neighbouring patients or neighbouring clinicians. So instead what we do is we randomise the centre. So there were 70 centres in STEER AF across six different ESC countries. And those centres then were randomised to either receiving the interventional programme or not. Now we went to rather extreme measures to keep this robust and avoid any observational bias. So we did all of the work on looking at the adherence to guidelines for each individual patient before the centre was even randomised. So they had to collect 25 or so patients. All that information was then stored and uploaded. Then we worked out whether there was um, guideline adherence. We didn't tell the centres. We kept that information and we used that to randomise the centres and balance them uh, across the two arms. Um, and then the follow-up was done six to nine months later. Normal, usual clinical follow-up um, in that hospital. Uh, and that then again looked at those outcomes, stroke prevention, rhythm control, integrated AF care, um, to see whether there were differences between those centres that were randomised to continuing what they normally did with education for their staff, you know, they might do seminars or whatever, to the group then that had not only that, but on top of that, had the ESC education programme. So the, the main finding and, and slightly worrying finding for STEER AF was the really poor level of adherence to guidelines that's out there in the real world. Now if you survey people, you get a really rosy response. Oh yes, I, I prescribe my patients this, I do that. But when you do it objectively as we did in the trial where you have basically an independent arbiter to see whether the patient's getting different treatments, what you find is that the adherence to class one and three recommendations was only 60% for stroke prevention and it was only 20% for rhythm control. So that means only one in five patients in the real world is getting all of those recommendations done, that are the must do's and must do nots for that, for that particular part. So that was, the, that was a really, um, that was a finding that was core to this. It's obviously helped us, I'm sure we'll talk later about the, the AF guidelines in the 2024 and how we've adapted that, but that was a really core finding. Now in terms of the intervention effect, what we found was that the short intervention didn't significantly improve the outcomes for stroke prevention at patient level, 
but it did have a significant effect on rhythm control. As I already mentioned, that was only one in five, so it went up from 20% to actually twice that, 30-something uh, percent, so it was a 50% increase overall um, uh, in the patients adhering to rhythm control. Um, and so that was a really important finding. Along with that, we saw um, an increase in the integrated care. Now, this were patients, so patients had a, a form that they filled in to say they were being empowered, they were getting education, they were having a multidisciplinary approach, all the sort of things that are important to integrated care. So for that outcome, again, the intervention was successful and it led to a significant improvement. Um, so overall, we found that um, doing these sort of short education has potential for patient care, but really focused on the areas where there are already substantial gaps in implementation. Yeah, I mean, there are always differences in, in different healthcare systems. I think the benefit of a trial like STEER-EF is that we took in a lot, of, a lot of different variations of that. So each of the six countries, Spain, Italy, France, UK, Germany, Poland, all have very different healthcare systems, different ways of reimbursing. Um, and so that's something that we're going to be looking at in more detail uh, in each of the countries. Uh, but overall, um, there were fairly similar effects um, um, seen. Um, STEER-EF included 70 centres and over 1,700 patients. So it was a good way of kind of looking at the overall effect across the ESC um, uh, in, in how guidelines are adhered to and what we can do to improve them. So take home messages are that um, the guidelines are there to improve patient care and patient outcomes. And we know from past um, uh, research that adherence to guidelines at patient level has better outcomes better quality of life, less strokes, and so on. So I think the core message for clinicians out there is um, to think about the guidelines, try to implement them in each of the patients you see, and hopefully the new 2024 AF guidelines will make that much easier. We've really tried to implement and innovate a lot of the areas to make it much easier for clinicians to um, implement the guidelines, but also patients, and we've released a patient version of the guidelines at the same time um, so that patients and clinicians can have a shared joint decision making which will hopefully um, improve outcomes in the long term. So well the next steps are to disseminate this out and, and make sure people are aware um, about the poor guideline adherence. Um, as I mentioned we, we've already initiated many steps within the 2024 AF guidelines. Similar things will need to be done in future guidelines outside of AF for the ESC um, and of course I think really what we need is a sea change. We need a complete difference of opinion out there around how we approach uh, patient care. Um, the Congress has so many great um, uh, trials, new trials being presented, but of course unless they're implemented in patients, then they're not doing their job. And so I think we mustn't forget that end point and I think it's a call to everyone out there um, to really get on and implement the findings of guidelines and these trials um, into real world practice.